Welcome to a special episode of the MC Knitting Adventures podcast. My name is Colleen. And my name is May. And today our adventure, we're going to be dyeing some yarn. And Colleen can tell us all about that. So the yarn that we're going to dye is Alpaca Merino Fine by Estelle. It has 55% merino wool, 25% nylon, and 20% alpaca. So we're just um, over dyeing. It's just an ivory color that I got at the store. Um, and we're going to see how it turns Yes, out. it's going to be exciting. It is. This is our exciting. first experience of uh, dyeing yarn with the crock pot. Exactly. So we're thrilled. Um, so we'll start the process now. Our first step is to mix the colors. So we've decided that we're going to use violet. That would be purple, my favorite. And May, what color are you going to mix? I'm going to mix, it's called Delphinium Blue. That's exactly right. And we think those two will be beautiful together. So and we're going to do that. And because I am who I am, definitely we need gloves. <laughs> yes, we need some <laughs> I tend gloves. to slap things That's together. That's for yes. sure. There we go. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to start. We've measured a half a cup of water, and I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon. Now, I know this is going to make it strong, but that's okay, because we're going to use it as a dye stock um, if we don't need all of it. Should I wait till you're finished yours before I do mine, or should we do this together? Um, well, why don't you wait till I'm done, okay. and then we'll do that. Oh, that's a nice color. So I'm just, oh my goodness, it's going to take some mixing. Oh. And this is Wilton uh, uh, food coloring? Yes, it's Wilton food coloring. And it comes like gel. It's not very it's like liquidy, so no. that's why they we're diluting this in, in water. Exactly. That's exactly right, me. And I'm having trouble getting it off my spoon. So you go it's ahead okay. and do yours, okay. and I'm going to keep stirring. Oh, Ooh, that's color. pretty too. Yes. You've got two good colors going I'm on there. I'm going to put the lid back on because that's a I good know idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, how is your lid? Is it My lid is on strong, strong, but I'll do it again. Good. And I'm just going to keep mixing because I just want to make sure that we've got good dye stock and not any little bit of pigment in there. Now, one thing you can do if you want to test your color is to just dip a fork in and then just put it on the paper towel. Ooh, can I put it beautiful. beside yours? So we Absolutely, can that's no problem at all. Oh, Ooh. I think that's <laughs> gonna be nice. I think that's gonna be very nice. I think it's gonna be pretty together. Yeah. Now you can see that the colors are breaking a little bit and that's okay, because that's what these colors do. Well, do they? Mm -hmm. And okay. I think that combination is gonna give us something really pretty. Okay. I like how they're gonna be. I think that's nice. Excellent, and then we'll head on to the next step. Now we have to get the yarn ready. And to do that, we have to put in some string that's going to hold it safe so it doesn't get to be a tangled mess. Do you do it tightly or loosely when we do this? Very loosely. Okay. And the other thing I'm using is I'm using some yarn that has absolutely no wool in it. So it's going to stay that color. So it's going to be easy to find that string to grab onto. That's a great idea. Can mm. I help uh, tie it up? You can. I'll make sure I do it loosely. I'll check Absolutely. in with Absolutely. No problem. So the so, first thing we have to do is undo the ends. This yarn only has one um, place where it's tied in. So I'm just going to undo that. When I've been looking at this, mm -hmm. when I've been looking at it, um, most people say to tie it in three spots. So I'll tie it here, and then I'll tie it here and then I'll tie it here. Okay. And the way we do that is we need things about, they say 12 inches long. So there's one. Okay, can I start tying that then? Um, yes, you may. Two, and then three. Maybe I'll watch you do one first. All right, because we're gonna do it in a figure eight. There we go, so you've got one. There's one for you. Thank you. One for me. And then that'll be the last one. Okay. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to kind of flatten the yarn out. Okay. And we need to divide it. I'm going to move this one into the center so we can see better. Divide it into threes. Threes? Into threes. Okay. Okay. Divide it into three. So get everything pulled so it's going to stay nice. Do they have to be fairly even threes, you think? Yes. Um, as long even. as they're in threes, nice like and that? tidy. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to take this yarn that's a different color. Mm hmm and I'm gonna go over and under and over. 
and then I'm going to come back and do the opposite. So I'm going to do under and over and under. So it's nice and loose. You can see that it's nice and loose, but it's going to keep it from getting tangled. And then I'm just going to tie this in a knot at the top. Once again, this won't hold the pigment because it doesn't have any wool in it. So I'm going to try this and remember under mm -hmm. and over. Uh huh. Perfect. And over this one. Right. And then when I come back, I'm going to go do the opposite. Under. Yes. Under. Perfect. And over. over and under. Yep. And tie it loosely. Yeah. Now this time I'm going to bring this one back because we have to have this to attach to the other ones. And under. Make sure I haven't missed anything. And over. And then this is going to attach to these ones. Now, the, now this one you can keep a little looser of a knot, but we want to make sure we have all four ends. There we go. And just make sure everything's loose. Yep, there's lots of space in there. Right, lots of space. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, so we have that done. Okay. Now, because we're going to do this in two different stages, so we're going to dye the purple first, and then we're going to put the blue over, we need to have this look like it's a skein. So there's a process to do that, and okay. I'm going to need you to hold that in for me. I'm going to stand up. You're going to still see the, the yarn, okay. so we're going to be in good shape. All right, can you hold that for me? Perfect. So we want a loose skein. So I'm gonna, I've got a knitting needle that's inside. It's a large knitting needle. It's a large knitting needle. Use a stick or a dowel. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that will work. And then I stick that in there. You're gonna hold on to that for me. And this mm -hmm. is gonna come over top. Make sure I don't catch too much. And then there we have a really loose, loose skein. skein. Now it's very loose, so we could try it again. I like that though. Do you like that okay? Yeah, I think we should go with So that. what's going to happen is the outside will put color and then the part that's inside won't pick up the dye the same way. And next we're going to get the um, yarn soaked and ready to go. We're going to soak our yarn. So I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of vinegar in our bowl of water doesn't matter the exact amount, but we're measuring so we could replicate it if we want to. And then we're going to take our skein. There it is, nice and loosely done. And we're going to put it in the water. And as you can see, it really floats. So we've got to give it a good squeeze and give it a good squeeze. So I'm going to let May go because she's got stronger hands. That's what I'm saying. I know she can do it. So just doesn't really absorb too too quickly. Does well, it? that's why we're going to soak it for a little yeah. while. Yep, that's exactly the reason for do that. That's a great idea. And you want it. We're doing this so it will absorb the dye better. Now, normally when you're dyeing yarn, you don't have it in a skein. Normally, what happens is you have it all loose. But we're trying to do a process, so we'll do it for half an hour, and we'll be back, and then we'll be back. We have the crock pot filled with some lukewarm water, tepid, I guess is the temperature that we want. And May is going to put in a quarter of a cup of vinegar, just plain table white vinegar. We're going to give it a little stir with some chopsticks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in the purple dye. And we're going to do this first of all because we want to get a sense of what the color is going to look like. We made up a half a cup of the dye and I don't think we're going to need it because I think we made it pretty strong. So I'm going to pour some in. We'll do our paper towel test and see what it looks, and see like. What it looks like. And then we'll go from right. there. It's a little bit to see. Are you ready? I'm ready. There we go. Give it a stir. And then we're going to do a check. So we're going to dip this in. Mm, a little light. It's a little something. bit light. It's pretty. Mm -hmm, it's pretty colored. Do you want to see? Yeah, I'll put some more in. We can put a little bit more in. I think you're right. So let me do that. And then we'll just do a dip test. Oh, that's, that's pretty. Coming. Yes. Do you think that's good? I. That's pretty good. If you can see that color, 
I think it looks pretty good. Okay. I think that'll be nice with the blue. Okay. Are you okay with that? I'm good with that. that Perfect. So that's what that's done. We've got our purple dye in. We're not going to get rid of our purple dye. We may want to put in some more when we see how it comes out. Uh, but we're not going to know that for a little bit. We'll take the purple dye away to the side. And then we're going to see how our yarn's coming. What's the next step? The next step is we've got to squeeze out the water. Okay. So that we just want to get it, not so that it's dry, but so it's not holding on to quite okay. so much. Let me just move the crock pot a little bit. And maybe you can do that for me. Because sure. you're definitely stronger than I am. So that would be great. So we just squeeze like that. That's perfect. Does it have to be completely dry? No, just you're just trying to take out some of the moisture. There's lots of room in the crock pot, so we're okay. We just want to double check that end, but I think we've got it good. I think it's good. Perfect. All right, are we ready to do this? We're ready. You're ready to be brave? Ready to be brave. Okay, so we're going to put well, it let in. Let me move this so we can, can, we can see. All right. Everybody can see. There we go. Perfect. So we're going to put this in the crock pot. Okay. And make sure it gets totally submerged. And okay. then we'll turn it on. So in it goes. We're just going to put it under, push it under. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. beautiful. All right, so we're totally submerged. And now we're gonna turn this on to high. Thank you, my dear. We're gonna turn it on to high. We're gonna leave it for an hour and then we're gonna see what, what we've got and see whether we need to add some more color or whether we've exhausted. So that's that step. We'll see you in, in an, an hour. hour. I, oh, it's been one hour. It's been one hour and I just want to check to see if we've exhausted the dye. Now you can see that we still have color in there that needs to be absorbed. So there's two options. Option one is we just give it another hour or option two is we give it some more time but we put in a little bit of extra vinegar. Could we do both? Could we we could do both. A little bit of vinegar and then uh, give it another hour. We're going to give it a little bit more time and a little bit more vinegar. So I'm just going to put this in and stir it in. And how much more vinegar do you think you put in? I put quarter in another vinegar? quarter of a cup. There's lots of water in the crock pot, so I think that that may be helpful. Okay. All right. And so we're going to give gonna it another hour. Give it another hour, and then we'll see what we've got after that. We're going to check to see what's happened. So I'm just going to use a white measuring spoon, and then you can really see. And if you take a look, the water is clear. So that means that all of the dye has been exhausted. The color is beautiful. I'm hoping you're that getting a gorgeous. picture of it. So now what we have to do, I'm going to turn off the heat for right now. I'm just going to turn it right off. And then what we're going to do is we are going to try and open this skein up before we put in the next color. Now, do you open it up inside? Right. We don't lift it. No. So we're going to need some chopsticks. So if you can break those apart, I'm going to grab some for myself. You and I are going to try and work together. Oh, if here, this is an easy way to do this. If you can't break it apart, it's OK. Because you and I need to work together. So okay. you're just going to try. It's actually from this end mm -hmm. where you just try and open this up. So if you pull, ooh, it looks pretty in there. OK, so. So we're we opening up the skein. Is that what we're doing? You're not. You've got to move this over here because this is where it was tied up. Okay. And then we're just going to try and move everything around okay. so that all those parts that weren't dyed, it's just opening oh, up. And I we see that now. There yes. we go. And we can't there do we too much. Okay. Oh, there's beautiful colors, colors in here. Oh my really gosh, I'm nice. very excited. Now what mm -hmm. has to happen is we need to get the color that you're going to be using in because okay. we want to dye the parts that are white. So here is your spoon. That's a tablespoon. So I'm going to move. This is very dark. Is that why we're using a tablespoon rather yes, than pouring? Yes, pouring it in. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. So you think a tablespoon is good? Yeah, I think that looks, that's perfect. And just drop it in. Good. And I'll just mix it in on this side. Then we're going to move the yarn over. And then, oops, I got caught on there. We're going to move it over this side and then another tablespoon. Perfect. And I'm just going to give that a stir. 
And then I'm going to open that up again. That's Maybe on this side here? Yeah, a little bit as well. Perfect. I think that's good. Do you want to move the yarn over a little? Do you want to do some in the center? Okay. Let's just throw some right in the center because I think that'll be lost. This side here? No, I think we're good. It'll all disperse through. Okay. Yeah, it should be just fine. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to put the lid back on and we're going to put it on to low and we're going to let it do that for. Um, another hour. Okay. And then after that, we'll take a look and see what we've got. We're going to take a look and see if we've exhausted all the dye. And look at that. It's brilliant. We've exhausted it all. So it's been all taken up. We've got nice clear water. So now all that's left to do is to turn this off and let it cool. And once it's cool, then we can rinse it out. So how long do you let it cool? You let it cool in the water? In the water. You just turn it right off, which I'm gonna do right now. We'll turn it off, and then it just cools to room temperature. That's what we have okay. to do. So it, right. it may take an hour or so to cool off. Okay, perfect. All right, and then once we've done that, we'll be back, and then we can check it out. So we're just gonna take it out. It's cooled down. Just a minute. We're just going to put it in a, to show you what it looks like. We just have to spin it and then we'll let it dry and then we'll come back and show it to you all skeined up. We're going to put a little bit of soap in. And then we're just going to rinse to make sure all the extra dye is out out of it. But you can see that the water is nice and clear. So I think we've done a great job. The yarn's t just taken up all the dye. So right. it's fantastic. I'm going to take this and squeeze out most of the water and then we'll put it in the salad spinner and get as much of the water out that we can. All right. And then let's see how much water we can get. There we are. So let's see how much water we got rid of. Well, wow, look at the salad spinner does. Look at that much yeah. water. Perfect. Yes. All right. So now we're going to take our lovely yarn. We're going to hang it to dry. And then we'll show it to you when it's all skeined up and looking pretty. It looks beautiful. It does. All right. So that'll just hang to dry. Look at the yarn that we dyed. Can you wow, believe it? Wow, I can't believe that. The colors are vibrant and brilliant. I'm so happy with it. I can hardly wait to knit. So there's a hundred grams there. And I think what we can do is each have something worth 50 grams and we'll both have two cowls or we'll both have something that way. I think it's going to be gorgeous. For our first attempt, Colleen, I think we did an amazing job. I think we did. That is beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at the colors in that. That's going to be interesting to see how that's going to knit up. I can hardly wait. Yeah. Until next time. You take care.